Hello friends, welcome to Tech Granth. In this session, we will be talk about uh, Hue and we will also see the hands-on of uh, Hue Web UI uh, on a Docker, right? So Hue is one of the tool for Hadoop from Hadoop ecosystem, which is used uh, to uh, perform uh, queries uh, which will uh, provide us a query editor to perform queries on databases and data warehouses. So if we'll uh, just uh, talk about this uh, Hadoop ecosystem component. So you can see here, uh, here we are having Hue. So Hue uh, can be used uh, uh, for Hive and Impala queries, right? And also to provide us authorization for those queries uh, using Sentry or Ranger. Also, we can uh, schedule Uzi uh, jobs, right? Uh, we uh, scheduled. We can schedule the jobs using Uzi on Hue Web UI, right? So let's see. Uh, what is uh, why Hue and what is the use of Hue? Hue is an open source SQL assistant for databases and data warehouses, which provides a web-based interactive query editor that enables to interact with those uh, data warehouse and databases. You can also show a graphical representation of uh, those query results, which we uh, perform uh, on Hive or Impala, right? So uh, you can be used to explore, browse, and import our data through guided navigation in the left, pa left panel of the page. I will show you the uh, web UI of you uh, just uh, after some time. We can query data, create a custom dashboard, or schedule our repetitive jobs uh, using Uzi, right, in uh, the panel. And uh, we can uh, even get uh, expert advice on how to complete a task. It provides uh, suggestions uh, to uh, write a SQL query, right, which will uh, uh, improve our performance and give the results much faster. So how will uh, Install it on a Docker. So this is the, the these are the steps. Uh, we'll per, uh, log into Docker Hub. Uh, we'll pull that uh, new latest image, right? And then we'll just run it uh, on the port double eight double eight. So let me just uh, go to a terminal and uh, we'll perform these steps. So uh, first of all, uh, let's uh, log into uh, Docker Hub, right? Uh, using the command Docker login. Right, we will give a username here. Telegram password, uh, we'll be using a token here. Right, I have provided that, and now you can see login is succeeded. Right, now uh, we'll run a docker pull get hue and hue latest. Right, so latest. Uh, image uh, we will be pulling it from docker hub just press enter so it is showing uh, image is up to date for genuine uh, get you uh, latest so let's check docker images you can see uh, we are having get you right latest and image id that has been downloaded uh, which is having size about uh, three and a half GB, right? So uh, we will just run Docker run hyphen interactive and ter terminal hyphen p with port eight double eight double eight colon eight double eight get u u colon latest, right? Press enter. So uh, now you can see uh, the, it is uh, getting running uh, the container for Hue, right? Welcome to Hue 4.7.0. It is the latest one. And the image just up, uh, uploaded to Docker Hub on 11th May. So it is the latest now. 
so these are the uh, backend processes uh, which are getting started on the uh, for the, on that container okay starting server with options demonize host is this one port is double eight double eight and server name is localhost uh, server group is you user is you right uh, no SSL certificate as of now okay so if we'll go to a uh, web browser right here uh, okay let me just remove it right so localhost and 8888 right so you can see right uh, here we are seeing http requests and here you can see the hue right hue web browser so let me just maximize this window it is just uh, when you see this firefox is blocking part of page you can uh, that can slow your browser okay next okay just close it now since this is your first time login in pick any username and password be sure to remember these as they will be uh, your huge super user credentials so let just make tag grant and the password okay let's create the account save the password <laughs> and here uh, you can see the latest uh, hue uh, welcome to hue 4 okay let's see what it shows new navigation bar uh, with blue button open youtube favorite app select okay just exit as a super user you can check system configuration from user manual and install sample data next discover data sources main attraction next next okay okay could not connect to thrift transport okay we are not connected to thrift transport so it is giving up error for that just uh, ignore it so now uh, you can see uh, here are some changes uh, in its web ui so the icon is here you if you'll click on it right it will show uh, my documents right here uh, we have option for export and import the documents and uh, we can even create a new document here okay if uh, we'll see just okay these are the ter editor okay for this uh, what we can get hive we have hive uh, editor impala editor right apart from that uh, we have notebook pig uh, we can run pig jobs java spark jobs map reduce shell even we can uh, run scoop from here uh, dist cp for uh, copying data from uh, one cluster to another hadoop cluster we have scala uh, pi spark jobs we can run from here uh, r r jobs as well r studio for machine learning spark submit jar we can uh, submit the spark jars from here spark submit python text markdown and uh, just like uh, jupit you uh, let's add more we can okay we can have more connectors here right uh, which database it supports apache impala hive mysql presto almost every database it's supporting now right postgres at aws athena druid teradata db2 you can see uh, there is a huge uh, list sap sap hana google bigquery even apache drill dashboard click house elastic search snowflake every almost every of the databases we have uh, connectors with you now 
apart from that we have storage uh, which works with ur hdfs uh, then we have aws s3 azure we have azure file systems for google container uh, google cloud Server storage right and then we have apache ozone uh, which is uh, just a new uh, product uh, we will be using in uh, CDP as well, Cloudera data platform, right? We have HBase also. And uh, for metadata management, we can use uh, Apache Atlas and Cloudera Navigator uh, and Cloudera Navigator Optimizer with you. And we can submit Apache Spark job, Pig job, Uzi, Yarn, Sentry, and Nox as well. Apache Nox okay and uh, left side you can see uh administrative for what is uh, there are uh, some documentation here right on left hand side just leave it right so uh, this was this icon then we have dashboard for hive and impala right let's just uh, click here okay Okay, this will open the editor for uh, Hive and Impala, right? Just ignore it. Okay. And we have, uh, this is for uh, scheduling the jobs. Uh, this is Uzi icon here now. Uh, Uzi workflow, schedule and bundles. Then we have documents and we have files uh, with hdfs files we have tables uh, we can see uh, here right uh, i don't think it will show anything as of now yeah we have our uh, different databases we can refresh those right create a new table drop table from a uh, hue only we have jobs here right we can uh, okay we can check the jobs uh, this is job browser where jo Impala jobs, workflow, schedule bundles, SLA and Levy jobs as well. We can track from here. Then we have importer. We can import the documents, right? Uh, these are the errors. Okay. And we have documentation tour and here the users. We have my profile. Uh, if I click on it. You can see a user profile advanced right super user status group and permissions then we have administration manage users okay so uh, these are a brief uh, overview of and the tour of the hue web ui which is uh, launched just now okay let's see uh, you, uh, you can just explore it uh, like this as well okay so let me try if we can use uh, impala queries here right So now uh, you can see uh, we have a uh, hue and impala also uh, both containers are running right so we need to change uh, hue dot ini configuration uh, for impala then only we can uh, we would be able to run impala queries from hue web ui editor right so uh, let's see uh, now we will just uh, go inside the hue container so let's me just run this command right docker exec execute hyphen it terminal and this uh, hue container id and then bash shell press enter 
okay docker ps okay let me check so i have just uh, restarted the container i uh, run it again right uh, docker run uh, with this command interactive terminal in detach mode with the name hue 4.7 with port uh, port forwarding on uh, 8888 colon 8888 right now you can see here the name uh, it is showing as hue 4.7 so now uh, let's just uh, docker exec hyphen it and hue 4.7 and bash right press enter and you can see uh, we are now uh, inside that container so uh, now uh, we need to change uh, hue.ini file so vi slash usr slash share u desktop conf and u hyphen overrides dot ini this is the file we uh, we have to change so, oh okay editor is not there okay let me check uh, okay this is also not there i think uh, we need to install editor here first so let's install uh, vim here so i'll be using this command apt get install vim so this will install uh, vim editor for us right so it has been installed now so let's clear my screen so now uh, let's edit uh, this file now vim right here uh, we will see uh, impala entry we can search right you can see uh, we have entries for postgres mysql notebook right uh, hive mysql impala right you can see uh, impala here right let's see uh, okay if there is any entry for impala as well okay hadu presto yarn beeswax hive server host yeah impala you can see here Impala is localhost 21050 and uh, we will uh, just uncomment this entry right uh, okay and we will change the localhost to our uh, host where impala has installed 172.17.0.2 okay so we will save it and then uh, we need to restart hue and let's see uh, then uh, impala editor will be visible in hue or not so let me restart uh, impala uh, let's just get uh, okay okay we are uh, having some issue uh, connecting impala with hue so that's all for this session now uh, we will uh, see impala connectivity with hue and uh, um, uh, running query on um, uh, impala queries on hue in our next videos thanks thank you for watching thanks